we're finally here. All right, we're here. Hello world. Hello world. In in what the hell? What does it say down there? World ender? I can't tell. Anyways, time for their final class trial. It seems. Uh, Jesus, fuck it. It doesn't matter. Just start. Just start. I don't care. I did say I wanted you guys to know the outside world, but this is still a questionable starting topic. Let me ask you this. What is this world's true identity? It's a visual, it's a visual world. It's this VR. world's true identity? What kind of question is that? This world's true identity. If I answer this, it will be true. And the lie will become the truth. But... There's no way I can believe that it unanswered. Do I really gotta do a hangman's gamut for this? Come on, man. Just make me do like a multiple choice thing. Uh program? Wait, what am I what am I doing here? Virtual. Alright, that's what we're doing. Why are you going so fast? Calm down. No! Not the R. I needed that. Ow. Uh, I'm sorry. I how do you spell virtual? I'm having a hard time here. Virtual. There you go. Virtual. I got it. This world, this Jabberwock Island we're on. It's a virtual world that was inspired by the actual Jabberwock Island. Hey. So, this isn't the real world, but if you want, you can call it the game world. You get it? It's all just one big game. Uh, are you friggin' serious? Don't fucking mess with me, you bastard. Did you have us all come here just to tell us bullshit? If this is a game, are my words being displayed in a text window right now? Yes. That's stupid. There's no way that's even possible. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. I love it. I know, I know. The all in your mind trope makes you feel such cruel despair. But who cares? I've revived all the suspense and mystery with just one line. Because it's a game. Then we were forced to kill each other. Cause it's a game! A lot of crazy shit happened. Cause it's a game! <laughs> this is becoming stupid. People here. Cause it's a game! <laughs> you fucking asshole, Monica. Nonsensical abilities. Cause it's a game! Don't fuck with me! That's not even possible! I know you guys are pissed, but you were having fun too, right? A world where anything goes only exists in games. So just force yourself to accept it. This closed space, this game world, was the true stage of this killing school trip. Just, just stop. There's no way. There's no way I'm gonna believe that. Back in the day, people must have reacted the same way when they first saw the airplane take flight. But like wearing contact lenses, It'll stop feeling strange once you just get used to it. Please do not compare reality to contact lenses. I mean, if this really is a virtual world, what does that make us? You better not say we're fictional characters. The Future Foundation created this world using a program called the Neo World Program. It's programmed to place the user in a virtual world by synchronizing directly with the user's brain. Which means your body still exists in the real world. Everyone's alive? Oh, thank God. Jesus. Huh. Well, that's a huge weight off my shoulder. That means me comes alive. Yes. But right now, you're completely submerged in the game world. As if you're dreaming or something. Simply put, you're, um, you know, not aviators, but... You mean Avatar, right? 
An existence created in the game is a copy of the user's real body. But we're not just regular avatars, right? Your avatars were constructed by removing a specific thing from your bodies in the real world. So was that was that the reason why Hayako was a young little girl? What did you remove? The specific thing they removed from our bodies has... Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> our memories, prior to entering the school, our ultimate talents. School memories. I see! What was removed from us was our school memories, right? Which means we're avatars that were created from our memories from before we entered the Academy? So that's why we don't have our memories of our lives at Hope's Peak Academy? D don't talk like that! Like we're made from memories of the past. Like we're avatars. Like this is a game world. How'd we end up talking about sci-fi crap? I'll never believe it! How many times do I have to tell you? It's not sci-fi, it's a game! This world is a virtual reality created by a computer program. We can't proceed if we don't accept it. Is believing him really the only thing we can do? Make our arguments. Huh. Jesus. List of subjects will probably work. Or Neo World Program. Is there any evidence that this is really a game world? You are the evidence! What does that mean? Your avatars made of memories from before you entered the school! But your actual bodies in the real world are different. Though you have no memories of your time living your school life, your real bodies actually live that life. What game world? What avatar? I'm a human being with a real body! Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Is there any evidence? You are the- What does that mean? Your avatars, but your actual- Though you have no memories of your time living your school, your real bodies actually live that life. What game world? What avatar? I'm a human being with a real body! Uh, yeah, I didn't think that would work either. Crap! I'm sorry, we can't- we can't agree with Akane. What's wrong with me? Is there any evidence that this we is really to... a game world? You are the evidence. I have to agree with something. Your avatars something that makes sense. Though you have no memories of your time, your real bodies actually live that life. Mm. What game? What, what else we got? Foundation. What was the hope cultivation plan again? Hope cultivation as many years. Uh, attempt to create a true hope by resulting in their research. Okay. New world program. Last subject experience, synthetic, blah blah. Alright. I'm a human being with a real body! Is there any evidence? You are the. What does that mean? Your avatars, but your actual bodies, and though you have no memories of your time, li your real bodies actually live that life! No, it's not that one. Alright, well, maybe it's list of subjects. Is there any evidence? Maybe it's list of subjects. Really game world? You are list of subjects. Let's do that. Oh, wait. Oh, my bad. Your avatars <coughs> list of subjects. No memory. Your real bodies actually live that life. Oh, come on. Move. Move, 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 move. Damn it. Why you gotta be like that? Game world. What avatar? I'm a human being with a real body. Is there any evidence? You are the. What does that mean? Your avatars, but your actual. Though you have no. Me your real bodies actually live. Oh, shit. Life. There we go. Earlier, in the teacher's lounge, I found this strange newspaper clipping. There's a picture of Hyoko, but she looked more like an adult than the Hyoko we knew. Look like an adult? What does that mean? Since we're avatars right now, we look exactly as we did before we entered the school. But in the real world, we've already lived out our school lives. Which means we've grown that much older. And among us, some age so much we didn't recognize them. 
And you were saying that happened to Hyoko? It appears Hyoko had a growth spurt during the school year. Looks like the other shorty graduated for you, Hiko. I, I can't believe that. You're just making shit up. But if you guys only had memory loss, your body still should have grown during that time, right? So you should have felt your bodies go through growth spurts. But why didn't you guys recognize each other? Because we did not know each other before we lost our memories. If we all met after we lost our school memories, it's no different than meeting each other for the first time. Since we didn't know each other before that, we wouldn't have noticed how much we've all grown. No, hold on. If we didn't know each other from before, then we wouldn't have known if we aged or not by looking at each other. Then, would he have noticed the difference? What do you mean, he? Monokuma? Crap! What do you mean? What do you mean by he? What are you talking about? Would he have noticed the difference? And we didn't meet each other before? Talking about myself? You can't be talking about myself. Am I talking about myself? That's right, it was me. Oh, wait, no, there's no possibility. That was not a full round. Let's, if we didn't know each other before, and we wouldn't have known if we aged or not by looking at each other, then would he have noticed a difference? Fuyuhiko, maybe? Okay, wait, what? What would Fuyuhiko know? Hey, Fuyuhiko, you knew Peko for a long time, right? Oh, shit. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, now that you mention it, seems weird. No, now that I think about it, it's definitely strange. Strange? What is? Our school memories. About how many days worth were taken away. As the creators of the Neo World program, only the future Foundation would know the details, but... Around two or three years worth, I assume. That long? Pekko and I have seen each other almost every single day of our lives. If we lost two years worth of memories, we would have noticed that we were older than we remembered. So, does that mean our memory loss is another one of Monokuma's lies? Your refusal to accept your mutual memory loss is why you can't notice all the important parts. You've lost your memories, end of story. You guys are avatars who had their memories taken from them. This is a virtual world. We're virtual avatars. Are you saying we just have to accept that? I can feel my heartbeat, and I know what I smell like. So what do you call these things I'm feeling? Are you saying these are all lies? Just because it's a game doesn't mean everything was a lie. Have you heard that when you're hypnotized to believe you've been burned, a burn mark will really appear? Never heard of that a day in my life. So if our brains believe something is real, it's no different than if it actually happened? Now that you mention it, I did hear about a phenomenon quite similar to that. In a distant country, there was a certain experiment carried out on one of their prisoners. The prisoner was blindfolded, strapped to a bed, and had small wounds applied to his toes to drain his blood. That prisoner was left alone in the experiment room, as the sound of dripping blood echoed throughout the room. But in fact, his blood was not being drained. He was just forced to listen to the sound of dripping water, but he believed he was bleeding to death. However, in spite of that, the prisoner still died. As expected of Miss Sonia, your knowledge of state-sanctioned torture is amazing. If a lie is a believable lie, you're saying it might become the truth? We're really just connected to machines and stuff. And our consciousness was uploaded into here. I mean, they're not really that far from it. That's how VR kind of works nowadays. Once your mind, well, once it tricks your eyes into believing what your surrounding is, 
And then uh, you lose the nausea real quick, I guess, if anyone ever had that while doing VR. So we genuinely believe that this game world was real. Then, the Jabberwock Island we've been living on. Of course, that's also a virtual world. That sea, that beach, the buildings, everything. It's all a virtual world created by the Neo World program. It's just like this space we're in right now. What we see before us is a virtual environment created by the program. It looks real because our brains think it's real. That's why, in the end... It was all just a creation. That's the truth. What the fuck happened? The truth is... The truth is, it was all a lie. That is the world's truth. If everything's a lie, then what should we believe? Who cares if it's a lie? Hey, what are you getting at? I mean, if this is really a game world, everything that happened here took place inside the game, right? Uh, then that must mean... That's right. The killings we were forced to commit were part of some silly game. Everyone who was killed should still be alive in the real world. I hope... I, I really hope that's the case, man. Because if it's like, you die in the game, you die in real life, then that's some shit. Oh yeah. Just because they died in the virtual world doesn't mean they died in real life. So... so... You are saying everyone is still alive? Yeah, that's it. Isn't that right, Monokuma? <laughs> What's so funny? If a lie is a believable lie, it might become the truth. That's what you said earlier, Fuyuhiko. Are you trying to tell me if they believe they were actually dead that they might have died in real life? Don't tell me. You mean... The Neo World program isn't just any game, it's next-gen software containing the ultimate reality. And speaking of that reality, if a player's avatar experiences death, their brains inside their actual bodies will stop functioning too! So... they're all dead. God damn it. What? Then everyone who died. It's not like their bodies are completely dead, so I can't say it's a true death, but that's why it's actually crueler instead. All that's left of them are empty husks. So are you trying to tell me that they're brain dead? Or are you trying to tell me that they're in a coma? Are you saying they will never awaken? Again? What the fuck? What the fuck? Well, nobody's gonna appreciate a game where you don't die when you're supposed to, right? What game? That's not what we risked our lives for. Ah, uh, if you want to be mad, please be mad at the Future Foundation. They're forcing you to play this game. Yeah, I highly doubt that. Future Foundation? The people from the Future Foundation made us play this sick game? Everything was their doing? Then Monomi and Shiaki were... They betrayed the Future Foundation to protect us. And then we were taken out. I see. So our real enemy is the Future Foundation. I highly doubt that. The Future Foundation is our real enemy? Is that it? Is that really it? I highly doubt that. When you got Makoto on your side, how can you be an enemy? Come on. Let's be for real. The Neo World program was developed by... The Future Foundation, right? The ones who trapped us in here. It's all the Future Foundation's doing, right? 
and the enemy is the Future Foundation! I mean, a group that would make a killing game. There's no way they're good guys! Then the Future Foundation is... truly an organization of evil! Hmm, who's our enemy? The Neo World program was developed by... the Future Foundation, right? The ones who trapped us in here. It's all the Future Foundation's doing, right? And the enemy is the Future Foundation! I mean, a group that would make a killing game. Oh wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That might be the right. Come on. There's no way. Really, good really? Guys. You're telling me I missed? All right, whatever. An organization of evil. The Neo World Pro, the Future Found, the ones who trapped. It's all the Future Found. And the enemy is the. I mean, a group that would make a killing game. What? Crap. I mean, hold up, was that killing game, was that killing school life our killing school life? Junko, surveillance cameras, okay, academy survivors, wait what, hold up. Neo World Program was developed- Do we have academy survivors here? We have academy founders. The ones who trapped department, tragedy holds peak, the tragedy. It's all the future foundation. I'm gonna go with remnants right? of despair. The enemy is the f I mean, a group that would make a killing game. Oops. The Neo okay. World program was developed the future foundation, right? The ones who trapped it's all the future. And the enemy is the f I mean, a group. There's no way they're in the future. Truly an organization of evil. Hmm. Crap. The hmm. Neo World program was developed. Okay. By the Future Foundation, right? The ones who trapped us in here. It's all the. Well, let, let's check the evidence. What, what are we doing here? All right, let's check the evidence of founders. True hope. In their research, Neo World program. I oh, know. Wait, will we use Neo World program again? Because it said it's used for uh, for like psychotherapy. No, that's wrong. Yeah, it's the psychotherapy part, right? 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 They made it for peace. Originally, in the world created by the Neo World program. A concept like violence never existed. Th then why is there killing going on? The virus that invaded this program is forcing us to kill each other. C could it be that virus is? Monokuma's bitch ass. You're right. Until Monokuma appeared, this island was giving off a really peaceful vibe. Yeah, it didn't get weird until Usami was remodeled as Monami. Monami, what sort of role did such a lost girl like her have in this world? Hey, don't change the subject! But, that's also something we need to clear up. Monami and Usami's role, they were observers. I see! She was the observer of the Neo World program, isn't that right? That's right! She was an NPC that was assigned the role of Observer! NPC? What's that? Non-player character. A character that's not controlled by a person. It's different from avatars like us. Monami's existence was created entirely by the program, just to monitor the 15 of you. P please wait! Did you just say 15 people? Have you forgotten how to count? We're 16 people in total. He was probably excluding the other observer. Huh? Another observer? The Future Foundation other observer was Chiaki. See. Aside from the 15 participants, there were two observers in the New World program. One of them was Monami, and the other one was... Could it have been Chiaki? Yeah, you're right. You're saying 
Chiaki was an NPC? So you're saying she was just a program? And she didn't actually exist in real life? Yeah, I know. That's sad. That really is kind of sad. But that's why she was wife of number two. Am I right? Then she wasn't human? She didn't exist at all? No, not that's human. Not it. Chiaki was really alive. Even if she was a virtual existence, she was really alive. Did you forget? She saved our lives, you know? Don't get all mushy towards a game character! Hey, fuck you, Monokuma. Don't tell me what to do. Shut up! Plus, she wasn't just a little game character. She was a lackey for the detestable world ender. No, she wasn't. Now world ender? Mention it. You referred to the future foundation by that name before. That just means it was all a bluff, right? So we think that the future foundation was our enemy. Do not joke about the world ending. No. There's no doubt that the Future Foundation is also World Ender. At least for those of us here. For everyone who's Why here? Of us here? Why are you lumping us with you? It, it's just a bluff. Monokuma, what exactly are you? Why don't you just show us your true self already? What, you can't talk? It, it is cowardly of you to... to just ignore us! Before I reveal my true identity to you guys, it appears the main cast has finally arrived! Alright. Huh? Cast. Speaking of which, this guy is a member of World Ender! What? World Ender? Wait, was that... Makoto? It's not the Future Foundation's fault. Rather, the fault lies... with you guys. Alright! I was waiting for you, Makoto! You finally arrived! Makoto? My name is Makoto Naegi. Like you, I'm also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy. And right now... I'm a member of the Future Foundation. You are from the Future Foundation? Why did someone like you suddenly show up? I got it. You came to save us, right? Then hurry up and save us! Hey, what happened? What is this? Isn't he acting a bit strange? This guy's attitude. It's as if... He's being cautious of us. Of I don't mind rescuing you guys. But before that, you all need to fully accept the situation you're in. The situation Why we're in? Why do you think the Future Foundation decided to put you guys into the Neo World program? Probably for a psychological reform. Who cares? Hurry up and get us out of here! The Neo World program has another name. The Hope Restoration Program. The Hope Restoration Program? Now, you should understand your true identity. Huh? Our true identities? I guess I found out. Ha! Huh. My theories are coming true. I guess we are part of Remnants of Despair. are we the 15 survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? Who were rescued by the Future Foundation? Before you arrived here, Monokuma should have shown you guys some clues. Put them all together and try thinking about it. Put them together and think. Okay. Logic dive. <coughs> Do we have three questions? I think that's what the upper left is. <coughs> Number of questions we have. Alright, question number one. Which were the 15 survivors of Hope Academy? Makoto and the others? Monokuma? I'm gonna say Hajime. It has to be us, right? Yeah, of course. It's Hajime in our group. Alright. I know that much.
Oh, I hate these fucking things. Oh, jump! There we go. Question number two. Who are the remnants of despair? Hajime and the others. I'm gonna stick with my guns. I honestly think it's Hajime and the others. Fuck you, I'm right. Fuck you, I'm right. I've been right. I'm so smart. Oh, shit. <laughs> so that's why Makoto's like super hesitant of us. Because he thinks if we get in here and... Oh, come on. Fuck you. I was... Oh, the checkpoint is bullshit. Why you gotta be like this? Huh. Uh oh. Slow down. Okay, question number three. Why were Hajime and the others put into the program to recover from the despair? I am so right about this. I'm so smart. I'm awesome. Because it would make a lot of sense for Hajime if, if he was part of the reserve department and um, and he had to witness like everyone in the reserve department do like a mass suicide. And it will make sense if... It'll make sense if Makoto is disobeying Future Foundation in order to to recover them from their brainwash, right? Could it be? The survivors of Hope's Peak Academy and the remnants of Ultimate Despair are... Yes, both of those phrases refer to you guys. That's right. Not only are you guys the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, you're also survivors of Ultimate Despair! We're all... Ultimate Despair? Don't be stupid! In the beginning, we took in 15 of you as survivors of Hope's Peak Academy. But upon further investigation, we discovered an unbelievable truth. I was so right about it! Holy shit! The 15 people we acquired were actually the horrifying remnants of despair! That was... us? What is this... Ultimate Despair? I remember hearing that they're dangerous guys who are responsible for terrorism, coup d'etats, and wars. Yes, they're responsible for the tragedy and brought chaos into the world. Despair in human form, but utterly devoid of humanity. That's what you guys really are. The Ultimate Despairs don't care about principles or morals. They just spread despair everywhere they go. They live solely to torment everything, to burn everything, to kill everything. We're part of a dangerous group like that? Th that's gotta be a lie! That's right. There's no way. There's no way we're all ultimate despair. Nagito probably did what he did because he managed to learn the unbelievable truth. Nagito? Why are you bringing him up all of a sudden? He's the only one who knew this truth before you guys! It was a special prize for clearing the final dead room! Was it that file that contained all our student profiles? But inside... So that's why he wanted us to all die. <sighs> Nagito's such a bastard. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details. Details about our mission memories, information about the time we spent at Hosby Academy. Hmm, if it's not written in here, these profiles might be written before we entrusted the Academy. Uh, entrusted? Why did I say that? Before we entered the Academy! No, it used to have profiles from after you entered the school, but Nagito destroyed them before you saw it. Huh? Why? Why do you know something like that? Because he was watching us the whole time? He said so. Anyway, it's the absolute truth that the file had profiles about you guys after you entered the school. And after Nagito obtained the file and learned the truth, what did he try to do to you guys? He tried to kill us all so we can fall into despair. Nagito learned the truth. What did he try to do to us? Are you telling us to answer that? Come on, no more gambits. Damn it! <coughs> he tried to kill us! Uh... What? 
I'm sorry, what? <laughs> literally, is the answer literally kill us all? Come on. There we go. I need, I need L. Give me an L. I need an L. Give me two L's. Kill. Us. <laughs> Kill us all. Kill everyone except for the traitor. That's right. After seeing the file, you learn that everyone, including him, was ultimate despair. And he tried to kill everyone except the traitor. Did Nagito try to kill us because we were ultimate despair? Yes, because of his love for hope and his hatred toward despair. I sort of understand that fear. Don't mess with us. Why do we have to be treated like the bad guys? There must be some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. I don't need a twist like that. It might seem unbelievable because you guys only have memories from before you entered the school. But it all happened at Hope's Peak Academy. You were tainted by ultimate despair because at Hope's Peak Academy, you were in contact with her. Her? The true ultimate despair. Junko and Oshima. She strongly influenced you all during your time at the school. And that's why you became Ultimate Despair. In order to remove that influence, you've been placed into the Hope Restoration Program. Is that... why you took away our school memories? The reason you're able to act like your normal selves is because you're within the Neo World Program. But your true bodies in the real world are different. In the real world, you're part of a group that cruelly destroyed your family, friends, and even your own body. Family, friends, and our own bodies? Aren't you exaggerating a bit? He's right! There's no way we do something like that! Don't turn away from the truth! <laughs> oh shit, Nagito. Oh shit! <laughs> so that hand is Junko's? What was that just now? A memory? But... That person, that was Nagito, right? So he mutilated his body and gave himself the hand of Junko. Oh shit. It appears you've remembered a little. Now, face what you've done. And from there, you will finally take your first steps on the path to hope. <laughs> Okay. This scares me a bit, actually. It makes me wonder what everybody else looks like in the real world. There's obviously some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. Because you're all ultimate despair. You killed your friends and family. And you even destroyed your own bodies. How can you say we did all that? We're being tricked. We're being tricked by the Future Foundation! Doubt hope? How much despair is within you guys? We're ultimate despair, that's not possible. I need an organization, I need to organize the information in order. Oh, shit. There's obviously some kind okay. Of There's no way we're ultimate Vision of Nagito. Seems like it will help. What Makoto says. And you even destroyed your own destroying our own bodies. That must be it. Yeah. If Nagito went through that length and he's that crazy, how crazy is everyone else? In the real world. What Nagito did was he cut off his own arm. And transplanted a woman's arm? Not just a woman's arm, but Junko's arm. 
not just any woman's arm. It was the late Junko and Oshima's arm. What? what did you say? He probably thought that by becoming one with Junko and Oshima, he could make her survive within him. I... I don't get this at all. The ultimate despairs defy understanding. They have no problem severing their own limbs. I... I am terribly sorry. I do not feel so well. Where's the bathroom? It's just a game anyway, so why don't you just let it out? I'm pretty sure a select few would demand that. That's fucking nasty, Monokuma. Don't ever say that a day in your life ever again. It's too soon to feel sick. It's not even the worst thing the ultimate despairs have done. Some oh, what the fuck? ...through continuous fasting in order to reach the despair of starvation. Others gave their own families to Junko just to perform killing experiments on them. Not just that. After Junko's death, they slaughtered countless people by forcing them to commit suicide. One person even implanted one of Junko's eyes into their own socket. Perhaps they wanted to see her despair? How's that, Fuhiko? And not just that. Some even tried to have children with Junko's dead body. Okay, wow. Oh my god. I, oh shit. Just stop! That, that's just a bullshit story. That's obviously bullshit! So you feel despair toward yourselves in the real world. I understand that feeling. But there's no need to worry. If you just advance toward the hope I provide, you'll definitely be saved. Save? You'll save us? Of course. That's my purpose, after all. That's why the Neo World program was created, too. You put us inside this program so that you can save us? Essentially, your cohabitation inside the Neo World program was just a simulation. If we remove the memories of your time at Hope's Peak Academy, would it also remove your ultimate despair? So, you're saying this was like a test? I guess I can say that the test was a success. Even though it deviated greatly from the original plan of graduating after gathering the Hope Fragments, nevertheless, you guys were able to overcome your unexpected trials and make your way here. That's why, all you need to do is choose graduate. If we do that, we could get out of here? However, if you graduate from here, your school memories will never return. Man, nah, fuck that. Huh? If you choose to graduate, and the observer determines that there are no problems, you will complete the Hope Restoration Program, and your avatar will be uploaded into your real body. Uh, uploaded? It means by uploading our avatar's memories into our bodies, we're also forcibly erasing our past selves. That's why they call the Hope Restore it. Fuck. <laughs> so that is the Neo World Program. What happens to the people whose avatars died? If an avatar that needs to be uploaded has been deleted, there's nothing we can do. So you're saying they'll never wake up? God damn it! Damn fucking shit! Ahem. Please take a look at this flipbook for a quick rundown of your options. If you choose Graduate, it'll transfer your in-game memories, but your school memories will be gone forever. Unfortunately, the people who have already died will not be able to wake up. Just a thought. What will happen if we do not choose to graduate? If we don't choose to graduate, are you telling me that we'll have to repeat this, but everyone else will come back? You'll just have to continue living your tropical life. Hey. Why you gotta ask something like that? Well, even if we wake up in the real world, we are all rather messed up, right? Yeah, that's kind of scary, actually. If that is the case, then maybe staying on this island is... Well, what are you saying? Haven't we been working this hard just to escape from here? You don't have to force yourself to return to a painful reality. Let's just play this game forever and ever! Don't be ridiculous. If I stay in this screwed up world any longer, 
I'm seriously gonna snap! But still, is it really okay to sacrifice the others just to save ourselves? You're asking that now? If we don't get out of here now, then what was everything we've done up till now even for? You're right. I've been trying desperately to survive until we can finally leave this place. If we don't get out of here now, all the deaths we've endured will be in vain. I know this, but... Something's not right. How come Monica isn't trying to stop us? Is he just going to stay quiet and overlook us getting out of this game world? Then everything Monoguma did would be pointless too. Not only that, is it really okay for us to believe him? <coughs> hmm. Okay, here's the thing. What Makoto says is true, but there's a part of me that kind of thinks that that Makoto isn't the real Makoto and that's a Makoto that's like a virus Makoto who would just like say the things that Makoto would probably say I see wait can we have some time to decide did you get scared like Sonia no it's not that don't you think this is a little strange strange you still don't understand Normally, ultimate despairs like you guys would just be abandoned. But I'm telling you, I'm here to help. You should be thankful for how open-minded the Future Foundation is. M Makoto, what has happened to you? Just listen to the Future Foundation. The Future Foundation is the world's hope, you know? I knew it. As I thought, there's something wrong with you. You're not the real Makoto. I haven't spent the whole fucking game with Makoto being the main character to not know that that's not the real Makoto. I said I'm going to save you guys. Why aren't you Oops. listening to me? Let's do what he says and get out of here. I mean, the Future Foundation's the good guys, right? And apparently we are actually the bad guys. It's fine to trust him, right? The Future Foundation is the world's hope! No one can defy the Future Foundation! No, but you defied it yourself, Makoto. There's no way you would do what the Future Foundation wants if you didn't defy them. You say it's foolish to defy the Future Foundation? Then how do you explain your actions? My actions? I saw it. The email that the Future Foundation sent to you. To Future Foundation, 14th Division, Makoto Naegi. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What you're doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be ab <coughs> abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Things ca uh, think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to this world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you for the tragedy. You survived and held your <coughs> and helped you recover your memories. Immediately return to Remnants of Despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of hope-filled future. In that email, Makoto Naegi defied the Future Foundation to protect the Remnants of Despair, which clearly contradicts what this person is saying. Huh? Is that email for real? Future Foundation tried to kill us? Hold on! We'll deal with that later. Hey, Monokuma, those clues we found were all real, right? Y yes! And that's not the only contradiction. What this Makoto person is saying also contradicts what we've already been told. Essentially, I cannot guarantee that there are no issues. Wait. <laughs> Essentially, I cannot guarantee that there are no issues with this program. To tell you the truth, I was sure whether or not to run the program on you guys, but this was the only way to save you. I want to protect you. To me, those words seem more real. So if the person in front of us is... Who are you? You're a fucking lying bastard. That's what you are. That's why Monokuma stalled for time, so they can upload a fake Makoto here. Who is he? Simply put, he's Makoto Naegi. 
who's known for being a cutie patootie! I I'm not asking you! I'm asking... You insolent fool! If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me some proof! Hey, Makoto, what's the password? Damn it. He's trying to interfere then. To provide whatever Makoto Nagi is real, I'm gonna solve. I'm gonna shove that in his face. Panic talk action. Okay. I can't hear you. Better luck next time. What? What do you want? Punishment is waiting for you. You're getting all riled up. I can't see shit. What are you even talking about? Enough already! That's impossible! Proof, proof, proof! Are you sure about this? I'm not listening! Rawr! Are you sure about this? What, what are you even talking about? I can't hear you! Better luck next time! What? What do you want? Punishment is waiting for you! You're getting all riled up! What, what are you even talking about? Enough already! That's impossible! Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. Uh... Uh, uh, uh. This is the end. Damn right, it was the password. I knew it. Tell me what the password means. Tell me what the significance of the password. Makoto Nayegi, if that's who you really are, then tell me this. Why did you make the password to Nezumi Castle? 11037. Um, what was that again? You would never forget, you fucking bastard. Can't answer. That's weird. Wait, you... Where'd you find that out? Cause you told me. Who cares? So how about it? Can you even answer? Oh man, I've been found out. Are you telling me you're the ultimate imposter? Found out? Then you're... <laughs> how disappointing! And I thought I was on the right track! He... <laughs> disappointed? Cured? Yeah, it was a program created by created by fucking hey, Monica. Great. That guy disappeared. Why are you surprised? It's a computer program, so anything's possible, right? Then that was just the work of Monokuma. Aw, you found out I was faking. This is so embarrassing. I just want to kill myself. What are you doing? Why'd you show us a fake member of the Future Foundation? That fake was trying to get us out to the real world. Then that's your plan? Is that where your trap is? Man, they saw right through me. I may as well be invisible. A trap? What kind of trap did you set? Hey, if you know what's good for you, you better hurry the hell up and confess. I'll beat you half to death if you tell us now. But if you don't spit it out soon, I'm just gonna kill ya! Just kill him right now! Then this nightmare can finally end! Violence is not allowed! This isn't that kind of game! It's a much smarter game, right? What game? This game is already over! This game... is over? No, no, no! I'm not gonna let you finish yet! There's no way this can end before I've even transformed! Tr transform a transformation is customary in a final boss battle, right? You know, like that one role-playing game? What role-playing game? What role-playing game? You know what game I'm talking about? Oh, go kill yourself. Don't say it! Now then, allow me to show you. I'll skip the second and third forms and go straight to... my final form! You better not be bluffing. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you and pull all your stuffing out! What? I have a bad feeling about this. 
like the inside of my brains is burning, sizzling. A really, really bad feeling. Now then, make sure you burn this ginormous despair you're about to see into your memories! You gotta be kidding me.